Hi guys, welcome to another episode of It Le Spino. My name is Wilfred. Today is yet another gameplay video on the Enchanter class and also one of the uh, legendary, I believe, crystal I've looted with an execution affixed to it. So it's pretty interesting. Those of you who has played the um, Marvel Heroes probably would know what execution affixes is uh, so have a chance to just execute the target um, and also i'm using a art sing uh, wand as well it's kind of different from the rest of the wand that i use uh, normally i would avoid using an art sing wand it is nice it uh, it kind of drip to like in art to uh, to the target below if you do it right but yeah and also there's an explosion component to it, like firework that you see here. Uh, so that's a good thing about it. The, uh, the not too good thing about it is that I find it hard to aim um, upward because it, there's only a certain range that you can reach. And I'll show you in a little bit of uh, it later when I go back to my base and test out the ones I have. And I have no idea what happened to the others on the left hand side. The things are just like, uh, yeah, maybe I've mind controlled them without mind controlling them. I don't know. Yep. So that is the. Uh, that is the mind control chaos that I have. Uh, it's very fun on, on camera, just that it's kind of messy because I never know whether I've got the loot somewhere buried below or not because as, as mob dies, it drops loot, but then if it kind of tumble all the way to the bottom, I don't really know, um, you know what kind of loot I may be missing as well. So uh, Invasion is part and puzzle of what um, this game it has. The, the only thing about invasion I, I kind of like thinking is that uh, there's missing a uh, like a variation to it because every time it's roughly the same set of like well it is exactly the same set of like a monster that come at, try, that try to invade your base and I'm using the arching right now as you can see but then the arching will explode the, the ground about around me and uh, it it kind of make it a little bit messy when <laughs> when the mob kind of drop uh, to to everywhere. But uh, I, I guess in some sense it also make the game different. Um, so I, I just to recap again. This is going to be like my fifteenth hour playing this game. Um, I've played the uh, the other three, you know, kind of like a characters uh, classes, uh, bard, um, cleric, as well as necromancer. So enchanter is my third one. Um, fourth one, sorry. So um, no two games are the same. I, I can I can attest to it. So for example, my last game was a Necromancer, uh, uh, which is very much a uh, sacrifice health to to um, to deal damage. And somehow I've been gearing quite heavily on the. I was ge gearing quite heavily on life. Now with the uh, Enchanter, and also I'm testing out something is to go full on with the uh, with the attack power. Uh, that give me a nice DPS. I mean, you know, th this content is n not not really that easy, but I make it looks easy. Although my health is not really that high compared to other game, you know, gameplay I have. So I'm still I'm still trying to see how much health do I really need to have when I play it lurks below. And uh, basically, I do not spec for any um any any vitality at all or stamina. One of the their fixes, but uh, in fact, I put everything in the attack power to multiply my uh, damage. So I find it like uh, I'm still testing my limit, but fortunately, I managed to loot one of the blue quality uh, ancient items from the cleric. So I've caught the diviner, and uh, with diviner, I can heal by 500 health uh, every one minute. It's not too bad because uh, even the health potion doesn't really give you that much, although, health potion doesn't really have. Um, the cooldown to it, but I only have five. Uh, you know, you can use one shot. So there's a lot of action on the left hand side. I still don't understand why there's a lot of people. Sh <laughs> that may maybe just the uh, I don't know whether it's mind control or something like that that makes uh, make things a little bit uh, strange. Um, so I'm I'm still testing out the game, and as and when I see some sort of like uh, things that I I find it weird, I will just tell Mr. Bravik. Um, to see whether it's something that can fix or not, or, or somehow the mobs detect that I'm around the, the area, but it seems to have really huge echo range. Uh, very strange. Um, don't know. Maybe I should ask Mr. Bravitt uh, what happened uh, during that scene. But uh, now you see an execution kind of fixed to it, so you know mobs can be executed. Uh, there is a chance of execution. Um, so that is uh, part, part and parcel of what the game is. Uh, I'm, I'm having kind of loot as well. And uh, if you follow my video previously on the close beta, uh, I play the Necromancer. I, at this stage, back then, 
I had the teleport power. Uh, and with the teleport power, I don't really need to equip the axe or you know the leather or whatever it is. <laughs> By the way, this is kind of messy. I was like, mm, am I in danger? Uh, well, for a moment, possibly, but I think I think I can't survive it. Um, so uh, back then, I think. My gameplay until now was just like uh, with my necromancer was just teleporting across the screen, so there's no need to walk or no need to dig at all. So again, you know, uh, the game, this game is different from the last game. Uh, I also managed to get a ring, by the way, or recipe uh, that I could dig nine square instead of one. So every time I dig, it is a bigger kind of dig. Uh, area to it, so I may use it. Right now, I'm using a. Uh, I need to eat something. <laughs> right now, I'm using a uh, a ring for the uh, resistance, twenty percent. I don't know whether that is kind of useful or not. By the way, I just use a divina uh, to fill up my health. It is actually quite quite needed. Uh, and and uh, the, ar the arching, as you can see, is kind of hard to target because it kind of like a have a tra trajectory kind of angle to it. So you have to. No, you have to use the the one in a way that um, uh, that makes sense. And I'm trying to mind control things as I as I move by. So it's a lot of action with the enchanter. Still not quite sure though if I really like the enchanter because um, of the three ancient, none of them really useful for the boss. And even for the mind control thingy, it's kind of like a quite situational, especially if I want to pick up all the loot. Because I, the problem is that as I said, I mean I I, I always have this like um. Like, you know, am I picking up the right loot and so on? You can see the thing they're bouncing around, so it's kind of nice. You see the the, the, the bullet that bounce around. You know, it's very nice. That, that, that's why I wanted to show you guys some of the uh, clips of what uh, I've been playing as well. And the, uh, and as you know, there's a lot of treasure below. You can see a mini map on the left, bottom left. Uh, as you clear the the area, you get you know a lot of some sometimes like a chest. But not all the time there are good stuff. I think the most I got is probably like a rune. Uh, but that's about it. You see, the, this this one is pretty good for a situation like that. Just dribble the thing in. Now below is a ball, so I thought I'd show you a little bit of what I will be doing. Not this video. The next one I'll show you how to tackle the boss. Again, it's different from the way that I tackle uh, with the necromancer. And I'll tell you in a bit, like you know, next video on what the differences are. Uh, but I thought I'd give you some kind of preview on what is to come. Uh, this is, I think, the uh, the third boss. Uh, if you count the service, the uh, commander veil as the first boss. Mm. And um, it's still a frozen area. The next area is the slimy area. Um, I like to do a lot of exploration because uh, you see a lot of chests sometimes and you may see a lot of like crystal and this is a name mob uh, quite an easy uh, the, the, you know quite an easy kill because I like I said my DPS is pretty pretty good for my level because of the heavy investment onto the attack power attribution attribute sorry uh, but yeah I mean uh, you see a red text there that is really the um, the, the, the uh, Decreed. So whenever I free some someone, I've got a uh, extra sixty percent crit chance. So it's very, very, very high that I can crit. But so far, I don't know whether I've uh, you know damage over time can crit or not. It's a whole big bunch of help stuff. Uh, by and large, I'm kind of chill about it. Uh, at least at this tier. Now at the slimy area, I probably need to upgrade my gear, and when I do that, I'll miss my execute um, execution mineral, uh, kind of like a crystal. Uh, because I cannot fit the the current tier crystal to the next tier gear, so yet another kind of farming thingy. Uh, in a way, it's good because you know uh, this is a demonstration of how how high it can do in the in the arc and you know kind of explosion like firework. So I thought it was uh, kind of interesting to swap some of the wand just to see. And I think one of them has a higher attack speed, the other one has a twenty percent less attack speed. So. Uh, yeah, another thing, it bounces actually if it doesn't explode. So there's a time before the 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 one the bullet explode, and uh, it, it's just a little bit of uh, you know thing to it. And by the way, this one would have been a really not too good one for the boss that I showed you before because uh, for the boss that you see a lot of eyeball there, you have to take out the eyeball before you can take the heart, and after that the heart will respond to eyeballs. And you need a certain level of uh, precision to it in order to like really win it. And I've got a new one here, and you, you know haven't got it yet. But uh, I will have a new one, I think, in this 
video to show you I managed to find something that really really useful against the boss later but uh, I mean you know just for fun the art thing and it's the best one I could get right now um, and and that, that's really about it uh, just to just to share with you the progress, talk a little bit about no do games are the same and talk a little bit about the asing kind of like a one as well as uh, some of the you know uh, things like the um, you know the new affixes to it and I'm really looking forward to like you know the next tier and what I'm gonna do about it maybe nightmare level as well if I manage to clear all this level nicely so this is by the way this is normal level uh, right now at early access uh, it is from I think uh, the, 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 the normal area, then after that you have the uh, muddy area, then you have the frozen area, then you have the slammy area and each area has a boss to it so all in all there are like you know, uh, you know one, one, two, three bosses plus the service bosses, four bosses um, early access so they don't open all the bosses I thought, you know, when I, when I talked to Mr. Bravet, I thought he mentioned like uh, at the uh, at the release, the actual release, there will be like I don't know, ten or fifteen bosses. So it's still quite a quite a fair you know way to develop. But I think looking at Mr. Bravest's pace of development, and by the way, this couple of days he went out of town, so he couldn't do any development. But he worked really hard and really fast. I right? almost like you know every day there are like at least one to uh, two patches uh, with new feature, new fixes, new gear so uh, or just fixes in general so I, I, I'm very very optimistic on um, on this game and what you can do and uh, just going back to the topic uh, once you have cleared everything in this map uh, you could actually talk to one of the NPC uh, the Wizard of Time and Space uh, to reset the entire dungeon either at the current level or at a higher level so um, so that is pretty cool now I think this one that I have I've been talking I can't quite I'm using the mind control to bring the two mob down because I know that he will actually um, he will actually destroy the environment to it so it's a, a bit of strategic kind of thing again no two games are the same because I couldn't have done it with other classes uh, and this is very nice one it appears it's a poison has that much over time to it so this one would be very very good for the boss uh, that you will see in next video when I do do the boss and you will see what I mean because I would need peers to uh, to reach multiple eyeballs um, I know it sounds weird but yeah it is the case and uh, right now at this level I'm pretty sure I'm okay uh, still no death for a very very long time because I think I've been playing very very conservatively uh, very very observing what to go and where not to go again it comes with experience I know some of you may have abandoned your game uh, because you got into this infinite death loop uh, it's unfortunate but sometimes it's just be a painful experience that uh, some of us have to go through to know where what to do and what not to do some mistake that you have to know how to recover from uh, it just take a little bit of skill of that but you know, by and large I play like many hours um, these days there aren't really a lot of times when I got stuck into that situation you know or, or any, any remotely so uh, it's all about just experience and know what you what you can do or cannot do with the character uh, and uh, with that said I'm going back to town and the uh, next video I promise you would be the uh, the boss uh, that you see the eyeball there and it's quite an interesting fight uh, completely different from the one that I had before and if you want to catch up to the one that I had before just search uh, for my playlist there's one with the necromancer a video when I did the boss and show you how I did it and I think that was uh, I was trying to dodge all the bullets and uh, that didn't quite I mean I, I did it one sh I mean one go without any death but uh, you know I, I thought I'd try something different and I will alright see you next time goodbye